What is up? It's uh, We Atomics here, and um, this is our first commentary. Uh, and we are we show you some gameplay of Metal of Honor. So uh, yeah, basically, uh, I I used to play this game a while back, um, and then I just started playing Black Ops, and everything just changed. When I came back to this game, and I have it on the PS3 actually. When I came back uh, on this game, like I had to get used to the controls again, and it was it was pretty difficult to get used to. But after a while, after two two games, I, I started getting used to it. Um, and right now here, I'm basically pistol sniping. <laughs> I know, when have you seen anybody doing this in Metal Honor? And I uh, got a few headshots here. Uh, uh, but yeah, anyhow, it's, you know, we're, we just opened this channel recently. And, you know, we just want to rise up. We just want to let help, uh, help. We just want you guys to help us, the channel, grow. And, uh, yeah, basically gameplay, commentaries, all of that stuff. So, yeah, that's, uh continue let's talk about this gameplay so uh, right here yeah how didn't I get that guy with the rocket launcher I mean come on All right. okay Ooh. yeah I missed that guy but right here I start pistol sniping Ooh, hit markers hit marker more hit markers come on come on let me get that kill uh, I think I got a few kills here and I actually got a long shot a long shot headshot kill oh there you go save your kill with with a pistol it's called pistol sniping this is a new thing i don't do no scope i do pistol sniping yep this is what i do <laughs> oh, there you go oh got him headshot all right got a mortar strike put that somewhere so yeah we we're basically gonna do black ops uh, commentaries, all kinds of commentaries. We're gonna do uh, Metal, Modern Warfare 2. Anything you guys request, we'll do it, and we'll put up regular videos too. It's gonna be a nice channel with everything. Um, and if you guys could uh, just leave comments and stuff, nice, nice support. Like, you know, anything, anything, anything helps. Any comments, subscribe if you like what you see. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna force you to subscribe. I'm not gonna, you know. Oh, um, right here, got this guy. All right, cool. Got this guy. One shot hit marker. Alright, run out of ammo. Run out of ammo. Don't ask why I didn't switch to my secondary or actually my, my first, which was a shotgun. Don't ask why I was just bugging out, I guess, but yeah. Um, so let's, let's do it. I'm just gonna keep trying to pistol snipe here. Since I got a few kills, I started getting confident and stuff. Yeah, you see, that, that's where it fails. I, sh I, I should have stopped right there. Should just use an M16 or something. But yeah, this is this is my way of, you know, getting kills in this game. This was my way of getting kills. <laughs> just you know, I just tried it first time. Got a headshot. Got confident. Oh, rocket strike. Yeah, got a ribbon. All right, distinguished specialist ribbon. Uh, I like this game so far pretty good, it's realistic, um, it's not as sluggish as Battlefield, it's not Battlefield, Bad Company 2, Battlefield is kind of sluggish and it actually takes, it's actually a little difficult for me to play since I was, uh, I played Black Ops more, but I just uh, started playing this game again, I came back to it and it's a, it's a good game, it's a great game. I just wish uh, Battlefield had kill streaks. that would be the best. Imagine airstrikes, helicopter, like, imagine, that would be cool, since they have all these vehicles, like, tanks and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, it's been a crazy weekend, you know. Just, we have just been making videos, making new intros. Uh, last weekend, I made that bullet intro, you can see on my channel. It's in the right intro, you know. I use uh, Cinema 4D, and... Uh, I'm just getting used to that program right now, Cinema 4D. It's nuts. You just have to get used to it. It's pretty hard at first, but if you just study, study everything, it's it's pretty easy after a while. Um, but yeah, it's been a crazy weekend. Uh, last weekend, actually, <laughs> I have a funny story to tell. Uh, you'll probably, you'll probably. Um, 
think this is funny or think I'm a fool for this. I don't, I don't know, but I, I lost my pants, and you probably haven't heard anybody say you lost. Say I lost my pants, but I lost my pants. All right, so this was the craziest thing that ever happened to me. I nothing ever happened to me like this. I couldn't believe it. I would. That, and I would have never thought I would have lost my pants, but I that, yeah, I lost my pants. So anyway, uh, let me let me tell you what happened. So I was with my brother. Um, and we went out. We want to play some football. I think this was last Sunday or last Saturday. I'm not sure. Anyway, we went out. We want to play some football. We went to um, an old field there, school field actually, school ground. Um, and into a school I used to attend. Into elementary school I used to attend, but we don't go there anymore. But it's around our neighborhood, so we went there. Usually nobody there. Um, it was empty, so we usually play football there. And we don't instead of as a alternative to the park because it's a large field. But yeah, it's a large field. Um, so we want to play football, right? So we did play football. Play like about one hour, an hour and thirty minutes of football. So um, when we were actually playing, uh, I decided to take off my my pants, which are sweatpants. Um, Cause I was getting hot and I was getting tired. Since uh, throwing the ball, we were running and stuff. We were catching, and I had shorts under. Of course, I wasn't gonna stay with you know underwear. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I had shorts and I put my sweatpants. I put them in, on top of a, a staircase. I put them on a, a, a staircase railing, metal staircase railing, um, and then. Uh, my brother suggested I, I put them somewhere else because there was a there was some other kids there and they looked like you know they wanted the pants for some reason I don't know why you would want pants but yeah my wallet was in those pants so my brother told me put it somewhere else I did put it somewhere else I put it uh, back of the field all the way like deep in, in the field which was safer though because I was a little closer over there so I'm uh, putting on that staircase railing and so we were playing football we're having a good time you know and uh, we finished playing football, you know, an hour and 30 minutes pass, and uh, I put my pants in the staircase railing about like the first 30 minutes in which we were playing. So uh, afterwards, an hour and 30 minutes passed, all right, we finished playing football, we were tired, and we started racing and stuff, you know, the usual. Um, and we started racing, he won. But anyway, let, let, let me get to the point. I don't want to keep you, you know, here. Even though this pretty long video, about 10 minutes, but anyway, um, so yeah, we left, we left, you know, we were all tired, we were discussing everything, so I left in my shorts, so I left my pants, oh yeah, and actually now I remember, yeah, now I recall, this was Friday, so alright, so I left my pants on the staircase railing, alright, so I went home, alright, two days passed, Saturday passed, I didn't, you know, I didn't really wear those pants, it was, it was, uh, pretty warm, where, where, where we live, it was pretty warm, so, you know, I just went, I, just went down with shorts and stuff outside most of the time because you know um, so yeah it was pretty warm so I didn't really have to put my other pants I had alternative pants but I didn't remember that my pants were old, were in the field the field is uh, around our neighborhood but it's still pretty far away from where we live the actual building where we live in um, so yeah two days passed Saturday Sunday and Sunday I finally remember I was looking for my wallet in the morning um, and I couldn't find my wallet and then started saying where are my pants because I couldn't find my sweatpants either I had to put on my sweatpants Sunday was a little cooler so I decided to put on my sweatpants but then I remember no no my sweatpants I couldn't have left my sweatpants I can't lose my pants I couldn't lose my, my pants there and uh, my brother was just making fun of me and stuff and my mother she couldn't believe it she was calling me a fool and stuff um, so I went down and checked in the field two days later so this is day and night the pants stayed there day and night and this is how you could tell it was long because when I went on Sunday to check if my pants were there, they were there. They were there. So um, I saw them from far away. I saw them over in the staircase railing from far away. Um, oh, and here I just got another mortar strike. So I saw them from far away, the pants. Um, and I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I just started ho hopping up and down. I just called myself an idiot. And you guys probably think I'm an idiot as well for this. But um, I, I just never thought I would lose my pants, and I did lose my pants, and I was just laughing. So many emotions were going through my head. I never thought I would feel like this about pants. So, um, yeah. So, I, I cannot believe I lost my pants, but the one. I found my pants, and it was a good Sunday. It was a good day. Um, but, yeah. Uh, this, is, this is basically it. My team won, so. Uh, guys, it's We Atomics. Just uh, leave comment. Please subscribe and rate the video. 
um, rate the videos, Medal of Honor gameplay, and uh, yeah, just in the comments, uh, just describe a time when you lost something that you thought you would never lose. It could be something small, something big. Pause. Um, but yeah, just rate the video, subscribe to us if you like what you see. Tweet Atomics, and this is our first commentary. Um, and like always, well, even though it's the first one, just have a good day and uh, see you next video.